And today we're announcing a new plan to increase transportation services, the Long Island Railroad expansion program. It will increase track capacity, making it easier to run trains in both ways. By improving service reliability, we can attract, make mass transit more attractive, faster, more comfortable. People will be more willing to come out of their cars and get into the train, which is exactly what we have to do. The MTA... <laughs> the MTA will work on a new plan that will add a third track to the critical section of the existing line, which goes from Floral Park to Hicksville. Now, in the past, there have been proposals to expand the Long Island Railroad. They were rejected by political opposition. They were different than this proposal. Those proposals would have expanded the right of way that the LIRR currently owns. And the expansion of the right of way would have required taking 250 properties or parts thereof. It would have affected 250 properties. The past rejected proposal was 11 and a half miles. Uh, there was confusion about the communication and the community contact was left something to be desired, to be frank. We have a new plan which will keep the new track wholly within the existing right-of-way. So the construction will be within the right-of-way. There will be 50 properties which are minimal, minimally impacted because the new track will be closer to those properties. We've also reduced the amount of mileage of the uh, proposal itself from 11.5 down to 9.8 miles. On average, it's a five-foot incursion on 20 homeowners. I totally respect incursion on any property owner. But here we're talking on average five feet for 20 homeowners and 30 commercial properties along that nine-mile route. The keeping it within the right-of-way complicates construction. Complicates is an MTA word for costs more money, but I am willing to complicate the construction to actually get it done. And keeping it within the right of way makes it a totally different project. <laughs>